calling in the abandoned emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official information, news, or instructions. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system. Stuck up white boy faking the funk. Bump that. I ain't bullshitting on Front Street no more, thanks to the Wake Up Crew's Ebonics language lesson. What up, dog? Shit. What up? Shit, man. That hunky muffin mess my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down his head, you know? Shit. Hey, home, I can dig it. No, you ain't gonna lay no more big rap up on you, man. Knock yourself a pro stick. The great man of back, lot performers down. I take TCP in, man. Damn, bitch, you stupid fly. Let me pull up that bumper and smack that money. What it is, big mama, 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 the race, no dummies. I duck a rap. Hey, baby, jump in my low rider. Let's rotate these tires.
well as paid with good intentions. Now there's a mind fuck if I ever heard one. The good side of my will is the road to damnation. Fuck, why even try being good? And if good intentions take you to the lake of fire, where do bad intentions lead? Oz. Jane Doe decided to go on a diet. Eat better, get healthy, live longer. What could be wrong with that? Well, studies now show that the stress John suffers from trying to lower his cholesterol can do as much harm as cholesterol itself. That the stress can actually raise his cholesterol. And take those low-fat, no-fat products. Shit's loaded with sugar to make it taste better. So while Jane's trimming down, she's jacking up her blood sugar and risking diabetes. Bottled water. What the fuck could be wrong with that? The bottom, my friend. 1.5 million tons of plastic are used for them each year, which means more toxic gases in the air we breathe. So, by going all natural, we're actually killing ourselves, killing the whole fucking planet. Jane Doe, both looking slim and sexy. Me, fall in love, decide to get married. John buys a nice fat diamond for Jane's finger. Sweet! Except for the fact that people in Africa are living in shit because of those precious little stones. Men are dying every day in dangerous months. Men are dying every day in civil wars. Forced to control the diamond trade. Anyway, John and Jane get married, start pumping out the kids. Shit, even God told Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply. But now we've multiplied to the point of play. Six billion and counting. Suddenly, my cell don't seem so grand. John and Jane raise their kiddies to be decent citizens, teach them the laws of political correctness, teach them to respect other races, genders, body shapes, beliefs. But think about it. Doesn't making our children too aware of the differences plant the same seed of separateness? Are we blinding little Jane and John Jr. so that they only see what makes us different and not what makes us alike? I'm not saying to make a detour, only that before you make your first step, consider the consequences. The good can turn to bad in the blink of a fucking eye.